bit of an explanation as to why I'm doing the uh, pressure modification. Uh, the idea being that uh, one of the weaknesses of this machine is that uh, it puts out the water at too high a pressure. So the water goes through the grounds too quickly. So you have to grind the coffee uh, very fine to slow the extraction down enough to get good crema and all that. And by doing that, you end up with getting a, a bitter, bitter, more bitter coffee extraction. So by slowing down or reducing the pressure, you slow down the rate of the water going through so you can use a, uh, uh, a less fine grind or a coarser grind and maybe get a little bit uh, better uh, cup of coffee. So I thought I'd give it a try. First step, try to take the top of the machine off. Uh, even first step before that is unplug it because you're uh, gonna be messing around in here and there's electricity, live electricity in there. I've already loosened the screws. Screws are out. You take the water reservoir out and you just lift this cover off like so. Okay. There's the pressure relief valve right there. And uh, you probably want to disconnect these two electric leads to get them out of the way. And then the uh, hose here leads back to the reservoir tank. So when you get the pressure relief, the water goes back into the tank. You take a pair of pliers and clip that little, uh, press that little thing down and that'll, uh, that'll get that off. So you can just move it down a little ways. I've already done this for today, so I know exactly what I'm doing. Uh, this hose wasn't gonna come off, no way. So I ended up just cutting it real close there. So I lost about that much of it. Uh, which uh, there's lots of hose here, so it shouldn't, uh, you won't run out of, uh, out of length. You pull that off. And now this is the, uh, the difficult part. Uh, some people take this whole thing off of the boiler. Uh, I figured I might be able to do it. There's enough room here that I thought I'd be able to do it without that. So I took uh, channel lock pliers because I don't have a wrench of that uh, dimension. Took channel lock pliers got her in there and there was a fair bit of room and depending on how uh, uh, how much scale and lime has been in there uh, it may be pretty hard to get it uh, to uh, to come loose but uh, you know I had to had to reef on it pretty good but uh, it did come come loose I had already loosened it off so really you're not seeing me apply anything to get it off and out it comes and when it comes out, there's a little piston there. And that piston is held up in that pressure relief valve by this spring. And there's a washer on there. And so if I, if I put more washers in there, that moves this back so the spring doesn't have as much, much pressure on it. So this piston uh, releases at a lower pressure. And so it reduces the total pressure in this thing as you're making your espresso shot. Okay, so this is the uh, so this is the copper washer that comes with it. This is a washer that I I have. So I'll put it on copper washer on, and then I'm going to put this back with obviously with the uh, spring and uh, piston. And uh, that should mean that there's less uh, compression, less compression on that spring, and uh, this thing will uh, reduce the pressure in the system. Okay, getting it back in. It's a little bit tight, but not too tough to get it in. There, and then I'll just tighten that up with my channel lock. Uh, we'll make some espresso.